Well, it is down to work today for Mayor Olivia Chow now that she's been sworn into office yesterday morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mayor, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is uh, quite, you know, yesterday was a huge day for you, and today it's, you know, down to business. There's a lot to get into on your first full day in office. Uh, so what's in store for you today? What does the agenda look like? Uh, I'll be meeting my chief of staff, of course, and getting a briefing uh, on TTC, uh, meeting some counselors, doing some paperwork, and um, really looking at the crisis that we are facing right now in the streets, these refugees having no place. And as you know, it's pouring rain out yeah. there last night and this morning. If you have no shelter, no roof over your head, with a cardboard, soaking wet cardboard, oh my God, it's miserable life. So mm. it's tough. So that is the crisis okay. that I want to deal with yeah. today. Yeah. And in your remarks yesterday, uh, after you got the chain of office and after you're officially sworn in, you mentioned the reluctant partner in both the federal and provincial governments in terms of helping out with this crisis here. How do you see those conversations going of getting both the federal government and provincial government back to the table and back to seeing what is really at stake here in Toronto and the urgent need, not only for the situation with refugees, but even infrastructure-wise as well in the city? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those potholes, huh? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and TDC, you mm -hmm. know, not doing well, <clears throat> here's the good news. Tomorrow, the, our city manager will be meeting his counterpart, provincial and federal, mm -hmm. coming to the table tomorrow afternoon to talk about the refugees issue, about how we're going to deal with this crisis. And uh, we'll see. Hopefully, it'll be good news because we, we can't continue. It's one of the hotels that is near the airport <clears throat> that house Ukrainian refugees right now, yeah. their contract is up. We don't have the money. We don't want to yeah. close the doors, but where are we going to find the money, right? So we're $160 million short on just the refugees file. Yeah. So, um, yeah, hopefully something could come up because I suspect there will be more refugees from Ukraine coming, so. yeah. given what's happening there. Yeah. So we want them to have the best start in the city as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mayor Chow, Premier Doug Ford took exception to you mentioning possible legal action uh, yesterday in regards to the Ontario Place development, uh, but says he, he likes collaboration. Are you going to be able to come to terms on this Ontario Place issue with the Premier? Absolutely. Actually, um, I said, <laughs> the quote was very clearly that let us not get into a court situation. People don't want to see the federal and provincial, uh, the, the, any levels of government mm -hmm. going to court. So that was what I said. Not that I'm going to go to court. Let's, say, let's avoid that. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, but if they take land from the city, then what do we do, right? Then we'll have to say, hey, hold it. So let's hope it doesn't get to that point. And I'm looking forward to meeting with Premier Ford, and he said that's what we're going to do, and we'll find common ground, and I'm sure we can collaborate together mm -hmm. with many different issues, especially about building housing. He wants to build housing. So do I. Let's build it fast and do it well. All right, Mayor Chow, it was really great to see that rousing standing applause, standing ovation you had yesterday after you were sworn in. You had you know, Lorraine Sagato rise up. It looked like a really positive, uh, sort of an excited atmosphere down at City Council Chambers yesterday. I wonder what your conversations have been like with the councillors now that you're going to be working with for the next three and a half years at least in terms of, you know, as you well know, a majority supported another candidate in the campaign. How have those conversations, particularly with some of your opponents, gone or people who didn't support you? And how are you going to bring council together now that you're in charge? Campaign is campaigns. Mm -hmm. All of that is in the past. It doesn't matter. If a councillor has expertise and knowledge and passion on trying to accomplish something, let's work together. So I've been meeting with councillors one, one by one, like, you know, one-on-one, mm -hmm. on one, to connect, to ask them, what would you like to accomplish in three years' time? How do we do it together? What do you love to do most? What don't you like to do, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm going to talk to everyone. Uh, so far, I haven't reached everyone yet because I haven't been around that yeah. long yet. So my goal is to, on the first round, ask them and then look at the structure because it's really a structure should serve people, so serve our goals. Let's look at our goals, look at what people want to do, then look at the structure, and then 
uh, do one more round, and then we'll put everything together. I'm so curious. I'm taking some time. Yeah. There's no need to rush into that. You've had the conversations. You just got out of the campaign, and as you said, the campaign is the campaign. But are there, is there one or two ideas, perhaps, from another person campaigning, whether they're on council or not, that you say, hey, you know what, that's not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind trying to implement that in the in this sort of term of council. Is there an idea there that maybe you weren't campaigning on, but you said, hey, that's an interesting idea? Well, we all agree we need to build housing fast. Mm -hmm. Planning process, the approval is like two or three years. Mm -hmm. We need to reduce that at least by <clears> half, <throat> if not more, right? Fast that. And we also said we need to support more mental health services. We, we have that and I think there are so many common grounds I can't possibly think of anything that is spectacularly different I think a few of the candidates said that um, free TTC mm -hmm. service mm -hmm. for seniors yeah. I love to do that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I have to find the money first. exactly There's exactly like, so the there are great here. ideas yeah. out there but I need to find the money before I can say yeah let's do that love the ideas but hey let's yeah, find the funding you gotta come up okay. with the resources yeah. first okay Mayor Olivia Chow, uh, after being sworn in yesterday, thanks so much for joining us on CP24 Breakfast, and good luck with the day ahead and the next week ahead as well. Thank you.